this nice pumps and collectibles. It's early, it's early, let's just start. Oh, sorry, how much are your games by any chance? Games, okay. um, right, so the features are a pound each and yep. the others are four each. Okay, cheers, thank you. Actually, that's not great. Ah, right, cheers, thanks. Oh, how much are your Blu rays? Uh, four for ten. Okay. Three Okay. Okay. All right, cheers. Oh, thank you. Oh, Scott's Comics and Collectibles. Oh, oh it's, yeah. It's yeah, 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 I'll watch you guys. Yeah, I'll watch you guys. Literally, all gone, Yeah, I was going to say, it's, it's not even, it's like, I didn't expect a lot of people to stay either, but. Literally, I had all Man, we had loads of snow games here, all gone. Damn. I've got, I've got some, even like you, Sean. Yeah. I've got a bit of retro here, fucking, but. Even like your PS1 pads, all gone within like yeah. minutes. So. Yeah, just, just gone. Got an Mario paint earlier. Yeah, I'm gonna take DuckTales off here. Yeah. I like that video as well. Oh, is it? Yeah, <laughs> so I, I wanna <laughs> take that. It. Yeah, you done all right in that one. Yeah, I know, I know. Fucking, was here as well? Yeah, no, nah, here you go. Nice one. Definitely gonna Cheers, take God. that. Thank you very much. Nice to meet you as well. No, nah, definitely nice to meet you guys too. Yeah. Hope you guys do well as well. Yeah. yeah I'm gonna rush yeah. around and try and get home. Jeez. <laughs> Scott is... Ah, oh, cheers guys. Oh, Thanks man. a lot, yeah? Yeah, yeah all oh. the best, yeah. Cheers, nice definitely. Nice. See you guys in a bit. Yeah, yeah.
this light anymore. Maybe because I can't feel my hand. Okay. I'll say MBA. Yep. Is it five, is it? Yeah. Oh, there you go. Thanks a lot. Cheers, thank you. Thanks a lot. Sorry. Thank you. Take care, mate. Thanks, bye. Right. I need to reorganise so just for a How much is your bag by any chance? Just uh, that one's three fifty, darling. Okay. It's got all the compartments in it. You can open that. Okay. All oh, right. Cheers. Thanks. It's cool. Ah, right? oh, cheers. Thank you. 
would say. I mean, this is someone's dog, I think. If not, could be my greatest find from the beach sale today, this little fella. Let's come back, he's still there in a minute. Just let you guys know that dog's gone back to its owner. I won't be going home with it. Don't you see that every day? It's a new one. 2001. Oh, the spider car. How much is your PlayStation? By any chance? Okay. Okay. Did you just look at the games for a bit? Oh, it's a bunch of games on it. Spider Man 2. Okay. But there's no case on it. Okay. Oh, thank you. Much appreciated. Thanks. I'm happy with NBA Jam. Maybe you paid a little bit too much for it at five. Uh, definitely happy seeing Ed and buying that DuckTales. That's a brilliant episode. Oh, let's roll on to the next one, guys. Guys, so I'm a little bit gutted. I'm hoping it's going to be good, but this one looks quite busy for a Sunday morning. I'm saying that, uh, I was driving and I took a quick little sneaky look. Let's look through here. Uh, it's about four lanes, that ain't too, ain't too bad for this one. All right.
turn the camera off. Uh, stay tuned for the pickups just in case I find anything, but I'm turning the camera off now. So guys, I've just turned the camera off and a lady, literally I've walked around already guys, so you wouldn't even have seen these, I didn't see these. Uh, one of the ladies at the front stall has got a bundle of PlayStation 4 games, very desirable PlayStation 4 games, and has asked me to go back because she wants to check the prices on CEX, so I said, look, I want to go, but I walked around again, looked, looked in detail, because I've got the camera off, 50p each, 50p each, all in there. Happy, £2.50 for the lot, so I paid 50 p for this as well, but it's a disc. Happy of days for £2.50. Uh, so now I'm turning you back on. It's just on this door here, guys. I'm going to show you. Just tucked under there because I left it up Go back to this lady, see what she said. I'm going to turn the camera off for this guys because I don't know if she likes being filmed because she's a little bit thing on the last time. So I'll let you guys know. I'll show you in the car, guys. Just show you, she didn't turn the camera off, guys. Before we go, so the lady. I went back to her because she was looking on CEX prices. To be fair, she's giving me a really good deal for these guys. So, uh, in all, five PlayStation, four games, 20 pounds. Hoping you guys can see these all right. Case is a bit cracked, so I'm gonna have to change that. It's in a metal tin as well, so that looks all right. Street Fighter and Resident Evil 2. So, £20 for those, £2.50 for the Wii games. That's what I didn't get on camera, guys, but uh, here's what it is. So, you know, guys, I was saying I thought I had a really crappy day. I went to that huge boot sale in the morning. It wasn't good. I brought NBA Jam for £5. Definitely happy with my ducktails because huge fan of Ed's videos. Uh, it feels like I've got a little bit of memorabilia from... Uh, Ed to be fair, but happy with that. Uh, I might not even try and get a sticker for that Game Boy game because I'm quite happy with it. But guys, off of that, just shows you. Gone to another boot sale. In my eyes, I've smashed it. Uh, I can resell these straight away because I have them. Uh, and I mostly make my money back, no doubt, on the... I don't know how much Galaxy goes for, but I know Mario Brothers and I know the Sonic London. So I'm happy that guys, join me for the pickup video. You've seen what I've got already, but let's chat it through. See you in a bit. Welcome back everybody to Scott's Comics and Collectibles. What looked like a really terrible day at the beginning guys, and you, you would have watched the videos. Uh, I wasn't expecting too much. Went to the first boot sale, it was pitch dark. I felt like I'd gone at like two or three o'clock in the morning. Uh, the light wasn't great on my phone either, so I'm definitely going to have to invest in a light. Uh, but yeah, there wasn't much there. A lot of the regular reseller guys or collectors that I see, uh, but there wasn't much there at all. Everyone was scrapping for bits and pieces. And even some of the trolleys that I, when I've gone past and I've looked in their little pool trolley things that they put along, there wasn't much in there. A couple of like funky pillows or teddies. Uh, so it wasn't much. So I thought to myself, right, I'm going to walk around. Guys, you would have seen... And I'm carrying a little bum bag, which has done me well since I've got it, to be fair, holding change. But you would have seen that I picked up uh, from, I think it's Ed's Collectibles. So I do watch Ed's videos, and I'll put a little link in the uh, comments at the bottom in terms of Ed's videos. But I watch them quite a lot. He does a lot. He goes around looking for games as well at car boot sales. Uh, and he picked up this. I remember this in an episode. It didn't have ducktails on it at the beginning. It was just pure black. Uh, and he picked up, asked the guy how much he wanted for it. He said, look, you don't know what's on there, 50p. Ed picked it up, it's a brilliant episode, and uh, DuckTales was on there. I saw Ed and his friend, and forgive me, I've, I've forgotten his name completely, apologies. Uh, but they were there, they were stalling out, they sold quite a bit straight away, uh, which I expect you do early doors. And then I saw DuckTales, I remember the episode, and I was like, I need to have that. 
because uh, me and my friends, we talk about it quite a lot because it was just one of those episodes, you're like, what's on What's on that game? What's on that game? And you wait till the end and you find out. Uh, I'll support the episode for people that haven't seen it as well. Uh, but you'll see on here, it's got DuckTales. So I'm happy with this. I don't even think I'm going to buy a sticker for it. I think I'm just going to keep it as that. Uh, and no doubt we'll have a couple of chats about that, me and my friends. Uh, and then, guys, you would have seen I'm walking around and there wasn't much. So I started again from the beginning walked it and then a uh, gentleman and his girlfriend had pulled out uh, a load of Mega Drive games and I was I started freaking out a little bit. I knew what they were from a little while away and I thought, right, let me go and look at this. I, I was hoping there's going to be some decent platformers there. Uh, got there and it's a lot of sport titles. He wanted £5 each and to be fair, £5 a little bit too much for those sport games. They don't go for much, maybe a couple of quid at best uh when i did go back there later on in the day they had all gone so i wonder if he'd done a bulk deal or someone just paid the five pound each i doubt it uh but one game he had there which i thought right i'm gonna pick that up because my brother needs it for his collection and he's picked me up doom on the super nintendo loose cartridge and i know it's worth more than five pound uh, but he's given that to me because he knows that i need that for my super nintendo i know he needs uh nba jam he wouldn't take no money off me for the game and I wouldn't do the same for this. So I'll just give him this because I know he wants this. And he's always, whenever he comes around, he picks up my M NBA jam and he's like, oh, I want to take this. Can I have it? And I'm like, no, the complete is in me. I'm trying to collect that. If I find one, though, I will pick it up for it. So today I've picked up my NBA jam. Uh, so here, love that. And then, guys, from the first boot sale, there wasn't that much after that. You've seen the footage. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to the second boot sale. Not too sure what it's going to be like because there's one guy that stalls out there and he literally doesn't set up. He goes around and he picks up all the computer consoles, all the games. And I thought, right, OK, don't know how this is going to turn out. Uh, so I walked around with a camera, to be fair, and I didn't find anything. Uh, I, but I was conscious because I was getting a lot of look with the camera. So because there isn't that many buyers there, but there's a lot of sellers, they notice each and individual person walk through because uh, it's got the COVID rules. Unlike the other boots you go to, everyone's on one side uh they're quite spaced out so they notice when you're walking down they notice the camera and it puts you on edge a little bit well it did it put me on edge today for some reason so uh, i got to the end i took the camera off and i was like i'm gonna look around and i'm just gonna look in a bit more detail because i saw one store where i picked up some games from uh dad some m m little statues which i remember from the 90s were on top of the tubes and i think you still get them in airports as well so i thought i'm gonna go back and look at those i went back to go look at them and i know i might have got it in a cheeky shot as i was walking back past and the lady had handbags on the floor and under under the handbags i noticed all these computer games and i was like surely not because usually you display them at the front they'd be gone straight away there was loads of playstation 3 so i started going through the playstation 3 and i thought nothing really there for me got most of them and then under a bag and a duvet uh i've lifted it up because i saw the white cover straight away and i thought no they're not nintendo wii games right okay lifted it up fifa incredible hulk wrestling and then straight away at the front, I saw Super Mario Galaxy. Now, guys, I haven't checked this. And it'd be gutted if it's not in here. Oh, but it's in here. It's all good. Uh, and I thought it'd be in there anyway, so I didn't need to check it. Uh, yeah, I'm shocked. Don't usually find this, or it's usually still not sitting around. It's got the DVD and all the paperwork inside. Why I'm struggling to get it back in. Uh, but yeah, she wanted 50p per Wii game. So originally I was going to put the camera back on. So I stood up, took my bag and I thought, you know what? I'm not going to do that because it just feels like an idiot move to do that uh, just to get it in the video. And I didn't want her to think, what the hell's going on? Because we were talking. Uh, so I picked up the games and then I showed you guys, I got my camera out and showed you guys just a little bit away from the stall. So picked up Super Mario Galaxy 2, Mario Brothers. And I never, well, I do quite well in the video games in the charity shops and at the boot sales, but I'm yet to find these kind of games for like silly money, like 50p. Uh, but today's that day. I was hoping to find the Mario All Stars because I need that for my own collection. But yeah, Sonic, uh, Mario and Sonic, the London one, and I think this trades for a bit more. Uh, Wii Sports, and it was loose. I've got a couple of these now, so I need to start finding the cases of the little, uh... oh, the little cardboard cases but yeah they they were in good condition when i checked them as well a, li a little scratch but i'll check them when i go the, the worst one that was scratched was the wii sports but she wanted 50p even for the loose disc and i thought 50p i'm going to take the chance so i brought and i brought wrestling as well so you uh so for these 
So she, yeah, she did charge 50p with the disc, which is fine, £2.50. Now, that's a great deal. I'm happy with that. Then what happened is, so I'm walking from the front again, and a lady's called me over, uh, and she's only just started selling there, to be fair, guys. And you would have seen her in my past videos if you've paid attention to the detail. There's a lady that goes there, she sells computer games, and she had a Blu-ray player for a fiver a few weeks ago. And I was humming and hawing over it. Didn't have no control, so I turned it down. But I've brought loads of PlayStation 3 games from her. Loads of Xbox games. And then she called me over, and she, she does make me laugh. We, we do have a few jokes. And she went, I've got some PlayStation 4 games in my car. She goes, but I'm not getting them out, because I know they're worth a little bit of money, and I don't want to sell them for nothing. So I was like, right, okay, I'm happy. Can I look at them? So she pulled out this bag of PS4 games. Uh, there was loads in there. They had the CEX stickers on them, like 18, 22 pounds. And I thought, oh, these are going to be expensive and maybe out of my price range. So she said, look, she wants to look online and see how much they go for in terms of how much cash you'd get if you brought them into CEX. It's always a dangerous game when you play that. Uh, and it freaks me out a little. But if you're a reseller, still the CEX prices that you're paying, you'll still get more of you to sell them on the likes of eBay or I guess even Amazon maybe or even Facebook Marketplace. Uh, so, she pulled out the games, started going through them. Uh, so, guys, this one, I'm going to tell you the price of it, because they were all individual. So, some, so I believe, right, this was four, no. Let's start from the beginning, right. Resident Evil 2, £4. Street Fighter Arcade Edition, 5 £4. Uh I was happy to pay £4. I don't have a PlayStation 4 yet. Jesus, these are in good condition as well. They're very clean. Uh, so, yeah, I'm happy to pay £4 for these. I, I should have checked them myself, but I think they're worth more than £4 if I was to trade them in or even sell them. Uh, then the next one, £6. Grand Theft Auto 5. So I was happy to get that. Uh, maps in there. Don't ma oh, I don't know how many discs it comes with, actually. I'm hoping the PS4 comes with one disc. If it does, then I've got the correct uh, Grand Theft Auto 5. And guys, as you see at the bottom, the, this case is snapped, so I'm gonna have to change the case. But you can see on the bottom on this one, it does say 22 pound when it was uh, traded in. I don't know how long ago, well, when, when it was brought, I don't know how long ago that was. Uh, so four, eight, seven, this was seven. This one was seven. Don't know much about this one. That was seven. And then this one, I think she wanted seven four as well. So the case looks like it's got a little dent on it, which it has slightly. I can most, oh, I was gonna say I may be able to bang that out. I'm not 100% sure. But all in there, that goes in there. So I'm happy with this, guys, because you know that I picked up the uh, demo disc for PlayStation 4 for this. So I'm happy with this one, and I believe it's a fighting game. I don't know if this was... I think she wanted eight for this because of the tin. So wh whatever that come to, I worked out in my head. I was For the five, I wanted to pay £20. Uh, I think in a, she then come back at me, weirdly enough, and said £21. <laughs> Uh, and I was like, look, I, I do 20 pound. She said that I'm getting a great deal. I'm going to resell them. You know, if you want to resell them, I'm going to make good money. I said, look, more than likely, some of these are going to just sit in my collection. More than likely, all of them. Uh, I'm not too good. I've not got the greatest knowledge on the reselling, like full reselling at the moment, knowing what the values are, what the best selling platform is. If it's me, I'd just put everything on eBay. Because uh, that's what I used to do years ago when I used to sell bits and pieces. I'll put it on eBay and just wait. Uh, so I need to do a little bit more research, up my knowledge and my skill on the whole reselling piece. Because it's hugely changed over years, over the years. Uh, so maybe in the future. The ones I may, well, more than likely I'm going to put on eBay. Is going to be your Super Mario Galaxy 2 because I've got it. And you guys have seen, I think I've got like, I've got one copy. Super Mario Brothers, I've got three copies now. So this is going on there. And then the London Games, I'll put that one on there. Keep the wrestling, because I need that. Uh, but yeah, so, sorry guys, I'm just getting lost with this, because I think I've done all right here. So £20 for the PS4 games. Uh, and then £2.50 for the 
Nintendo Wii. PlayStation 4 games, 20. Nintendo Wii, £2.50. You can see how tired I am, guys. I had to do an airport run last night. Uh, I didn't get back till about 2 in the morning. And then I've shot up to the boot sales for uh, just before 6. So, uh, yeah, not had the greatest amount of sleep, but I feel refreshed. The Sunday breeze definitely woke me up. I'm extremely happy with what I've got in the end. It's gaming stuff again, which is a little bit frustrating. I'd love to find some 80s, 90s toys. Uh, or even some comics, but I'm happy with the games at the moment. I'll take anything instead of just going out in the morning and not coming back with anything. In my eyes, just would be a disaster day, and I don't. I'm close to experience those kind of days, but I haven't yet. Uh, so yeah, I'm hoping to have a. So that's it for this video, guys. I'm hoping to have a charity shop video pick up next week. I haven't got anything yet, uh, but there's usually some good bits at the beginning part of the week, and I get to go in there and just look. Uh, and I'm going to do a deep dive into about three plastic tubs of loose action figures from the 80s, 90s, and I think that's it. I don't think there's anything from the 2000s, so 80s and 90s, which I've just been picking up from the boot sales over the years. So it would have been a couple of quid each, and I've just been putting them in tubs. I'm going to go through those tubs and just show you guys what I've picked up. So that's it for today. I'm happy with DuckTales. People be saying, why is he happy with DuckTales? I'm happy with DuckTales on the Game Boy. And, you know, I think I've done extremely well well with the Nintendo Wii game. So, really happy with those. It's not... Well, you, you don't see out in the world Super Mario Galaxy 2 and Mario Bros. for 50p each. Uh, done really well there. No doubt uh, the guys that are stalling out there would have picked those up if they saw them. Uh, so, I've just lucked out right place at the right time and if the lady with the ps4 games didn't not make me walk back around as she was looking on her phone i wouldn't have found those nintendo wii games uh, so yeah everything happens for a reason as they say so guys on that note have a, a lovely day please tune in again next week for some more videos there are boot sales still on a wednesday and sunday and i'll continue to go to them uh yeah stay tuned please subscribe if you haven't please like the videos if there's any views or faults of what i can do better or what you'd like to see in the video contents please drop it in the comments below uh, i'm really really working hard to try and get the subscribers up on the channel uh, i have as i've had a little bet with the missus in terms of how many subscribers i think i can have by christmas she believes i'm very confident uh and yeah i i don't really want to be losing that because it'd be uh i won't live it down so yes, please subscribe. On that note, guys, again, thanks a lot. Thanks for the support. Thanks for watching. See you again next week. Take care.